Okay, I'm back at the school. I don't know if you can see this or not. But it is a 1965 quarter. <laughs> so close. Here comes Kate. She's totally longboarding. Tim's down. Look at that shiner on his elbow. Wow, I think I can see that from here on the camera. That's a big one. Are you going to suck it up and go longboarding? Let's do this. Be tough for the camera. Let's go. Hey, look at that. Just got a belt buckle or something. This is 204 on it. Don't know if it means anything to anybody. Well, 1989 nickel. This school was originally put here in 1929 and then it burned down, so some sections are new, some sections are old. So far, this one's kind of new. Alright, 1964 penny. We're getting a whole lot closer to that silver, baby. Well, I just got something. I have no idea what it is. It's so crusty right now, but I'm going to clean it up and we will see. Can you believe that? Two sixty-five quarters in one night. Okay, first dig of the day. 66 penny. Okay, as a metal detective in the school, literally got like two coins and a lady I know showed up and said that she has a spot with an old homestead on it. Um, apparently there's no homestead anymore, just a sunken hole and a lilac bush. I don't know um, how good it's going to be, but that's why we go treasure hunting. Well, we're certainly out in farm country, so <laughs> hopefully this old homestead actually had some money. Okay, there's the lilac bush. Not really sure where this homestead's supposed to be, but it's supposed to be somewhere by that bush. Okay, well I just found this thing below a tree. It must be something old. I don't know what it is or what it's used for. Somebody can comment on here if they know. That'd be sweet. Okay, it looks like I found what looks to be a really old radiator cap, about six inches down. Does anybody know what kind of vehicle this is off of? Let me know. Comment below. Okay, so I'm up kind of by the barn, which has now been converted to a house. And I got a 77 signal. And looks like I got a ring. Looks like it's probably costume jewelry, but I'll check it out. Couple of nice white tails. Look at that. Okay. Got permission to metal detect this house. First good find. I don't know if you can see that. Try to focus it. 1936 wheat penny. An iffy sound. <clears throat> we I'm got learning. some tones, maybe a couple tones in this hole. Pulled out this penny. It's a 19... 44 Not sure how to uh Hey, how do we figure out if it's magnet magnet or if it looks rusty? All right Well since I'm new I can't tell from looking at it. So I'm gonna try a magnet All right Just a few feet away from where he just got his 44 I just nailed a 1939 Weedy. 
pretty dirty. I'll clean it up later. Just digging a hole over here. You got this uh, broken piece of a spoon. Doesn't look like it's precious metal at all, but looks old. So we'll clean it up and see what it is. Okay, got another weedy. Thinking it's a 1930, but I can't tell. Have to clean it up later. So I just got kind of a cool little thing. It's definitely got some neat design to it. Not sure what it is. Let me know. Okay, doing pretty good at this old house. This is a 1940 wheat back penny. They're kind of coming up strange. Like it's uh, 77, which they're usually like an 83 for me, so kind of strange. Okay, well, here's a nice tree. I don't know if you can see. There it is. A nice little pocket in this tree. And watch this. So let's see what we got in this thing. <laughs> Looks like I found some triple antibiotic cream. So I was getting a really loud 90s signal. Ended up being two quarters stuck together. Okay, just got a 1944 S wheat penny. 1944 S? Yep. Okay, just found a silver ring. What's left of it? It's all mangled. That's nine two five. Okay. Just want to give a little better shot of this ring. It's all mangled up. I'll get those numbers. But nine two five, clearly on the inside. Okay. At the end of my hunt, I ran out of battery, but. I was able to pull out this half penny. It's really cool. 1927 Britain half penny. It's actually got pretty good detail. 